Guys, I'm in New York City. We're at Sheep Meadow Central Park. It actually looks like a sheep meadow. There's people, sheep, if you wanna look around. It's pretty cool. Looks just like the picture. So I'm excited to be here. We had a little mini fruit potluck here. Some people hanging out there looking at me like, what are you doing? But I'm here with Harley and he was just having a conversation about how amazing it is to eat this diet and live in the US. Oh yeah. So Incredible. being in Australia, you know, people post pictures of their fruit scores every once in a while, but that's sort of the highlight of it and not the norm. So I wanted him to kind of talk about how easy it is to eat here and, you know, you really shouldn't have any excuses because you have just so many options. It's incredible, like, I know about five raw vegans in entire Australia, and Australia is as big as the US, we've only got like 24 million people. How many are here, 320? 320 million? <laughs> no. So you've got that money here, and you've got the demand for the best fruit in the world, and 99% of it ends up in the US. All the imported fruit here is just A grade quality. Like, it's incredible, I can go to like some little Mexican store or Spanish store in the corner, which in Australia, you wouldn't ever bother looking for fruit because it'd be all junk fruit. And you go here to this little Spanish store, you get bananas, conventional bananas for like 20 cents, 50 cents a pound, which should taste better than the organic bananas you get in Australia for $20 a kilo. It's, it's pretty crazy. Like, you know, the more I come to the US, the harder it is in Australia because you, you know, you've know you got to work so hard in Australia to get the quality fruit. But in the US, you can just sort of walk down here and there and, you know, it's just crazy, especially in these biggest cities like New York or San Francisco, or LA or Seattle or Portland, Oregon, mm -hmm. places I've been to and it's, for fruit eaters it's incredible. For vegans it's even more incredible. Yeah, you said New York City is like your favorite as far as, you know, lifestyle. Oh, definitely got running races everywhere, got bike riding everywhere, got Central Park for training in. You know, it's so cheap here. I can't believe how cheap the US is for fruit, for food. Even so, like I look at, or I go to a, like Whole Foods, I check the prices of everything, like vegan foods or fruits or and here we complain about Whole Foods all the time. Whole Foods People, is cheap. The nickname for Whole Foods is Whole Paycheck. Yeah, which I find <laughs> crazy because Whole Foods standard prices are cheaper than any wholesale price in Australia typically. That's crazy. Especially with bananas. I look at things like tempeh or things like that. I look at uh, a friend was buying this uh, soy ice cream from Turtle Mountain or something. Like that. Is that uh, one Turtle Mountain? I think that sounds It's cool. Familiar. Yeah, Turtle Mountain ice cream, whatever. It's twenty dollars a quart. In Australia, here it's like five dollars, six bucks. <laughs> I was looking at something that's crazy how cheap it is. So, what would it cost you, like, in a like, in a day in Australia? Like, what's your food cost? Typically? It depends where we are. I mean, we've been doing it for a while now, so we know where to go. But sometimes it's hundred bucks a day. Yeah. Hundred bucks a day. Sometimes it's you know, ten dollars a day, twenty dollars a day, depending okay. if you're foraging. But for the average person who's just starting this lifestyle in Australia, they're going to get savvy quick unless they've got a massive amount of disposable income. So for us, disposable income, it just goes to fruit. We don't have any children, we don't have any, we don't have any real expenses. So we don't have any mortgage, we don't have any debt at all. So it's just, we will pay whatever it takes to get the quality fruit. Um, but it's just really cool coming to the US and not having to work so hard for it, because <laughs> it's just freaking everywhere. Yeah, like I spend um, probably on average about $100 a week on food. Um, I know if you know if you're a guy and you're eating more calories, you might be spending like $150 a week. But that's usually about the max that you would spend um, if you're buying it in bulk. And yeah. it's just amazing. So, and I mean, people just really want to make excuses like but here it's you can live whatever kind of lifestyle you want. This you can. Do it. It's America, you know. That's why everyone's trying to get into America because this is a place where you can make things happen. You know, it's an incredible country to live in. I think, yeah, it's, we make excuses because we don't want to do something and I've learned that now. If you want to do something, <laughs> you do it. Yeah, you'll find a way. <laughs> you find a way and just talk to people who had a paddle on a boat to get into the US or who smuggled themselves through razor wire to get into here. And plenty of people said, oh, I can't get into America, it's too hard. There's lots full of people who make it happen. So definitely the US, is, it's easy to make it happen here. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Shoes are so cheap here. I go to a running store and I'm like, these shoes, you freak. Are, these shoes are either fake <laughs> or like something's gone on here. I said, if you sold sh running shoes this cheap in Australia or bicycle parts this cheap in Australia, you'd lose your contract with the company. you lose your contract with the distributor. So it's so cheap here. <laughs> so what do you got coming up in the future? Where are you guys headed to? Uh, we're three more, three more weeks in the US. We're going to Doug Graham's Health and Fitness Week in Seattle on the starts on the September the 10th. 
and then we're going to Thailand after three, two weeks, three weeks after that, mm -hmm. back to Bangkok and hang out in Durin World for a while, and, wow. and then back to Australia for summer. Basically, we're going back to Australia when the fruit prices drop down a bit because we had a bit of a crazy fruit season this year. Because we grow most of our fruit local in Australia, so when it's local, locally produced, the farmers can just jack the price right up because there's no competition. There's no competition from Ecuador or Asia. It's like, no, this is what we're going to charge for you guys because there's no competition. So we've got a monopoly here. That stinks. So you it's would crazy. think because it was locally grown that they would give it to you at a cheaper price, but it's, it's, it's insane. That is crazy. Well, awesome. Yeah, you know what? Woodstock Fruit Festival was just, what, like two weeks ago, yeah, yeah, a week yeah, and a yeah. half ago? It was incredible, and you guys are going to be here next year for the next one, right? If I let us back in the country, yeah. <laughs> but it was so cool. Uh, if you didn't get to come this year, you know, if, you're, if one of your friends went and your friends with them on Facebook, look at their pictures. It was so much fun. You have to go next year. So check it out at woodstockfruitfestival.com. And then your website? 30bananasaday.com. Awesome. And that's a really great website for connecting with people that are on the low-fat raw vegan diet. And you can go to my website, MeganElizabeth.com, to get more information about me, check out my recipes, my books, videos, all that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys.